Right, it is the pub. Um, we are at the right place. A pub. Yeah, we've got the hecklers in the back there. Um, tonight is a fundraiser for the repertory people of Evansville. Um, the repertory people of Evansville has been in existence now for over 26 years. Um, they've been producing fine plays for this community for a very long time, and this is um, repertory and prop performers' way of saying thank you, thank you very much. Um, I know personally that I would not be on the stage today if it wasn't for someone really talented, Jim Jackson. Um, in fact, um, Jim Jackson and Carolyn Powell were out to see um, an amateur night at Funny Bones, and um, me and my divine stupidity decided to also do that as well. Um, I failed miserably, very bad. But this little woman kept chasing me after the show, and that was Carolyn Powell. Um, and if it hadn't been for them, I, I wouldn't be here today. So I'm very lucky, and I owe a lot. Um, second of all, um, if anyone has any um, buildings for sale that might accommodate a theater, such as Repertory People of Evansville, what we need is something about 5,000 feet tall, um, a pool would be great, and a tennis court. Um, and if you guys have those little pretty snacks you can put on the tables when people come in, that'd be fantastic too. But, if you just, honestly, seriously, we're talking warehouse, nice open space without pools down the middle, or a swimming pool right where our stage would be, um, please leave your name, um, a phone number, or the address of that place with a realtor that we could contact in the middle of the front that says donations. You can also leave other things in the donations box if you feel like, um, like money, um, so forth. Um, we've also got an idea box up front, guys, and that's one of the games we're going to be playing later this evening called Cliffhangers. And what Cliffhangers basically is, we're going to start a conversation, I'll have a story, and we have to incorporate these cliffhangers into that. So, a favorite line from a movie, something you said to someone you really didn't like, or something that always just made you happy and smile inside. Feel free to put in that bowl up there, guys. Um, what are some other things I can talk about? Hmm. I was on the way to here today, and I realized the Lloyd Expressway is a beautiful thing. Um, I think what I like most about Evansville, Indiana, is the fact that we really plan ahead. Um, who knew that just a few short years ago we'd have cars on the Lloyd Expressway? <laughs> I mean, it worked great for wagons, I believe, but since the invention of the automobile and the, you know, semi-trailer, as well as the Yugo, which is a personal favorite of mine, I love that. Is the inventor the Yugo in the, in the house tonight? Okay, maybe tomorrow. Um, he's, he's a personal friend of mine, kind of. I've been stalking him now for about three weeks. Um, he doesn't know yet, but he will soon. Um, Gee, what else is Mayor Russ Lloyd Jr., guys? I love that man. Let me tell you why I love him so much. Um, he seems to have a vision for this town. I mean, we've got rhinoceroses in the zoo almost. Um, uh, and I tell you what, Bunny was great, but she had her day. I mean, she's bringing some nice um, flesh eating animals. I think bring out the monkey boat. So, what if they have a little syphilis? I mean, my cousin. Well, never mind. Um, <laughs> I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen, right? A few monkey bites? I mean, I, I had a girlfriend this one time, and uh, she looked like a monkey. Uh, her tail's a little shorter, though, but she could do this thing. You, you have to see it to believe it. I tell you what, it was revolutionary. Uh, really spectacular. Uh, I tell you what, there's just there's so much going on in the world today. We, we live in a beautiful country, and uh, we have so much opportunity and potential to do great things. Um, I would like to buy everyone a Coke. Um, so we can all live in harmony, but I can't because I'm a starving actor. Um, but I do have ramen noodles. Do you like Oriental? Um, you can bring them butter. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take it back. We get the stage set up, guys. We're gonna start the show here. Just just a short period of time, okay? Have a nice time.
camera. <laughs>
and I. And you know what we need? Hmm, what do we need? We need a situation. What could Patrick and I be doing? Hmm. Thinking. Thinking. That's a good start. But I don't think on Thursday. Driving down the line. Driving down the line. Yeah, we don't have all night. Buying ice cream. 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 Buying ice or should we get the, the strawberry cream? I like sherbet better. I'm allergic to sherbet. I'm allergic to ice cream. Well, then we're in the wrong store. Cock no. me! Cock me! I don't believe I'd like some sherbet, though. It's, it's a little dry. I like I like sherbet. I don't believe so. I like sherbet, and I'm going to get me some sherbet. You can't have no. I'm going it's to get sherbet. sherbet. It's hard sherbet. It's more than one. I want a raspberry sherbet, and I want it now. I don't care what you want. It's all about me. Finally! It's all about for 
brain sandwiches. And she came in carrying the tray high. No, she came in with the tray on her head. She came in with the tray between her knees <laughs> and said, Hi! Wouldn't you like a brain sandwich? <laughs> At that very same time, in came Fire Marshal Bill. He stopped up and he said, What's going on? What kind of vehicle is that outside? And why do you have brain sandwich tray between your knees, ma'am? Well, I don't like that at all. That's not <laughs> The year was 1910. The city was Evansville. Leonardo was considering running for mayor as he walked down Main Street one day, realizing that he better be careful because he might be hit by traffic. <laughs> <laughs> About that same time, he realized he had to be the only person on the planet who had a successful transsexual service. <laughs> came sauntering up and said, Hi! You're off, you're, you're walking awfully strangely. Is there something I can help you with? Get out of the middle of the street. About that same time, here came Vivian. Vivian, who wanted desperately to find her carriage, realized that she found that guy particularly attractive, but she didn't know why. About that same time, they were all hit by a streetcar out of control. <laughs> Did you do that? I did that commercial. You, know, you I, I look do like, like a woman. 
<laughs> I put the makeup. They put too much makeup. I kept saying, lady, I don't need that much makeup. And what does she do? She, she, she's like, cakes it off. Everyone loves chickens and midgets. <laughs> and circuses too. Right, right. Circuses too. There's not many circuses here in Alaska. I I fart in your direction. <laughs> your mother was a hamster, and your father smelled of elderberries. <laughs> that will bring my dad into it. That <laughs> is not right. He why he drank elderberry wine? <laughs> it was medicinal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had a dead cough. Yeah. Poor wine. <laughs> Okay, next we're going to play another round of Clip Fingers. This is Leo, and my name's um, Basquita. <laughs> For the next few minutes. Would you guys like to give us a situation? Where can Leo and I be? Sperm Bank. The Sperm Bank. That was yesterday, yesterday. I got bills. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> 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 the first interview with 
Leo and Andrea. What we're going to need is, what kind of interview show is this? Springer. Fire. Could it, could it be a daytime television show like Jerry Springer, good quality family entertainment? Mm -hmm. What's other ideas? Prayer. It's prayer style. Ricky Lake. Ricky Lake prayer style? <laughs> Ricky Lake prayer style. <laughs> Do you want commercials? Bill O'Reilly. Yes, we would like commercials. Bill will have three commercial breaks. This means it's time to take a commercial break. This means it's time to come back. This means wrap it up. We've got to make room for whatever is next, okay? Two-person interview show coming down in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to today's show. Prayer. <laughs> the prayer with Ricky. Today, our first guest is Brother Shanigan. Brother Shanigan, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing that. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> Mr. Shanigan, excuse me, Father. Shanigan, Brother Shanigan. I am new to the faith, people. Please, please be with me. Father Shanigan saved me from my sinful life. I did. I did. She was a lost child. She was a lost child in television life. Oh, the days I spent watching her. He watched me, he did. <laughs> she said she is a child alone. Thank you. Hi. We are we are going to discuss today the sins of the father. Oh. Um, I, I say I, I I am a sinner. I am. I am not a perfect child. I am not. Just like my sister here, Ricky, who I say. <laughs> we are nations. <laughs> I would like to do a brief confessional, Father. Guide me in mind. Please I'll tell me, sister. I was a TV talk show. Please, no. No insults. But I did see the error of my ways. After one day, Father Shenanigan, he did come on to my show and he, he showed me the error of my ways. He did, yes he did. But today, I am a healthy Christian woman. She is, she is. I is, I am. Okay, you just one more minute. Just ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. No, no, you can, hi. Yes. Um, Father Shanigan, just uh, to wrap up the show, is there anything you would like to, to, what message would you like to give our viewers? I think we should pass out the wine. No, that's only, that's only once a month, Father Shanigan. But uh, we'll be back next week when it is the day for sacrament. Thank you. Oh. people have like stayed up all night long and watched television and seen those infomercials that they run on television. Oh, yeah. Anybody? Okay. Um, you pay for cable, get 99 channels, and you still have 97 the watch channel. So what we need to do is, uh, we're going to do an infomercial for you here, but we need to know what you want to buy. So what's the last thing that somebody bought? What's the last thing somebody bought? Nose hair. Blouse off. Nose hair. Blouse off. Okay. <laughs> yes, I am wearing my blouse. <laughs> Anybody else buy anything on TV lately? No. You're mad? Hit it. Who the best of the Bee Gees? The best of the Bee Gees? It shall be. <laughs> The following announcement is a very commercial program. This station is sponsored for management are not responsible in any way. Horse context. <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight? Hey, all you music lovers, we're back. I'm Bill. I'm Bob. And we're back with some new music fixing uppers. Yes, we are. We've got a special product in store for you tonight. It's BG's Be Gone! That's right, BG's Be Gone. Your revolutionary new record actually removes BG albums from your house. <laughs> this album is dead. It's going to be burned. Baby, burn. Oops, I almost 
We don't need no water. Oh, I tell you what, it's an exciting day. We've got a revolutionary new way to help you live a happy life, an exciting life, without disco. God bless America. <laughs> now, you're probably wondering how this wonderful new product works. Yes. Well, why don't you tell them? Well, it's quite simple. What you do is you fill a glass full of water and leave it on your roof. <laughs> and then you put on BG Speak on the record and play it backwards on a ham sandwich. <laughs> it doesn't work, by the way. You have to wait for the mold. And then, all of your BG records, which are specially encoded with mold detection devices, suddenly melt and disappear. That's right, melt and disappear, just like an unwanted leisure suit you bought back in 74. The press double home with the little twinky things at the bottom. I love that. And those black one shoes, they go too. Oh yeah, they're gone, they're history. But how can they get this wonderful product? They can hit our website or give us a phone call. Maybe 1-800-BG-BG-GONE! Or visit our website at www.bgbgone.com Do we have a caller on line one? We have a caller. Caller, go ahead. Uh, yes, um, I am the mother of a of a nine-year-old girl who loves Britney Spears. Uh -huh. they, do you have one for her, too? No, but we have an air pump to take away her breasts. <laughs> Just the left one, though. We have had lots of requests for the Britney Spears Be Gone. That's still under development. There seems to be too much uh, silicone involved with her record. It's hazardous waste disposal, folks. We're not equipped. <laughs> All ESA. Thank you. Paul, oh, thank you for your concern. Hey, we've got our live studio audience. Why don't we go out and talk to some of our That's audience? a good idea! <laughs> Do we have any happy customers? <laughs> Matt, how are you tonight? Come on, stand up. It's great to see you. So tell me, do you like the Bee Gees? Bee Gees? Yeah. Yeah, you still like them? No. No? No? I like your leisure suit. That's nice. Press the moment's in. So what was the best thing about the product, the thing that stood out the most, you just love? That it works so fast. That is amazing, isn't it? And mold sports, folks, they're one of the most underprivileged things we take for granted every day. Look, the time for mold, everyone! Oh! Thank you, thank you, Cynthia. Thank you so much. Hey, wow. well, we're about out of time. Oh, we are. If you want to get the Bee Gees Be Gone product, you need to give us a call now because operators are standing by. And we're paid by the hour, and I'm really low on cash. Yeah, so we need to sell the records, folks. That's right, it's Bee Gees Be Gone! Now we come to the newscast portion of our program tonight. How many people have watched the news before? Yeah. Uh, people. Okay. Well, haven't you always wondered, like, these people are all so professional that they have real lives. Maybe they've got some sort of quirk or, or something that we don't know about that we don't see on television. So what we're going to do, from you, ask from you tonight, is to give a, a quirk to the sportscaster, a quirk to the weather person, a quirk to the on-the-spot reporter. So we're going to come up with some, uh, we need some audience suggestions for what is wrong with these people. So let's start with the weather person. And this is our weather person right here. Besides the obvious folks, what's wrong with her? Yes. Uh, <laughs> facial hair. Unsightly facial hair. <laughs> no, we're just playing here folks. <laughs> she waxed earlier. Okay, okay and uh, what about our sportscaster? Channel 99 News Team, and we have some breaking stories tonight. First of all, there was a fire at the water treatment plant today. No one was injured at the plant, as technician Mona Burkmeyer simply turned the water back on. In other news, Mayor Lloyd said today that the construction on the Lloyd Expressway was on target. He said there were no weather delays in sight. In a Team 99 undercover investigative report, we have learned that Mayor Lloyd is the major stockholder in an orange barrel manufacturing factory. 
to owning stock in the company, and he said, hey, it's my expressway, isn't it? My name's on it. <laughs> there was a major drug bust on the west side today. About 300 people arrested shortly after 7 a.m. Police raided the west side business, but lawyers for those arrested said they would be released shortly since they were Bristol-Myers squid. <laughs> Through our action reporter live via satellite for a breaking story. This is absolutely incredible. Uh, we have a witness to the most fascinating thing going on on the west side today. The west side, which is normally a very, very calm place, um, <laughs> ex, you know, except for what happens in Union Township. We have I have with me Evelyn. Um, just excuse me, one moment. Could you hold this? Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Evelyn, what, what? There was a, they, they rounded up all the Bristol Myers Squibb employees and they told them, what is that you have in your lunch pail, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, what was in their lunch pail? Oh, well, actually, I didn't see that. I just saw, I'm the one who turned them in. <laughs> I was, I live across the street, are you, are you okay? I'm, I'm not done yet. I was watching out my kitchen window, I keep binoculars there. We'll be right back with more on this exciting story, back to you. Bye. Thank you for that exciting on the spot report. Hey, it's time for the weather and we know it's hot, so let's go to our weather girl Donna. Hey, it's hot Donna. Yes it is. And, and it's so are you. <laughs> Thank you. I braided little ribbons into it this week because I thought it color code with my outfit. Okay, it's hot, right? <laughs> that was so cute. Oh, it's hot right there where you have the big sun. That would be where it's hot. And it's wet right here with the raindrops. And, um, and windy.
I don't give a damn. Okay, Ray, you know it better than I can. Hey, Hello, how are you, Piggy? <laughs> I'm great. Have you seen Piggy? No, we haven't, but the... Just take those old records off the ship. <laughs> Could it be sooner than expected? You know we are the new matter of fault. 
I think. I'm like, I know! <laughs> Any time something could happen. I don't know when. I know when. Way hard. Close. <laughs> coming soon. I wrote my book many, 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 many years ago. And I know because I'm old. I am really old. Hello there. And I've had an immense amount of idiots. I've had many, many people I know I see you coming to. Yes. You know, I loved you. I played you in the Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Yes. I did a really good role in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. He played you very well. Marshall Whitey. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that! Julia, you're alive. Do you have any idea who these people are? Because I don't know what I'm saying. Do you know that? There's many, many people. You're only going to do it forever. Not in religion, but uh, in the joint topic. The Scientology guy? No. I was Kaplan. The, um... I think. <laughs> no! There was a Wait. little comet named after me. Oh. Yeah, Hank! There was a comet named after me? College! College! College. <laughs> I knew that! Mr. Haley! You're getting warm! No, you're not! Mr. Haley! No! No! My name starts with the letter N! N! It has many letters! <laughs> I feel it!
Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We got the entertainment. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I am Monique. Oh, you're a lounge singer. Woo! I you're a stripper. Ding dong. Okay, I get another guest. Give me a moment. Come in, come in. Oh, you're a Okay, reset. I wonder what that is. Oh, I 
Do you know what free stack is? You played free stack before, young man. Do you want to explain how this free stack works? No. Okay, well then I will do it and you can be quiet, okay? Hecklers, <laughs> you can't go anywhere. Here! Free stack, and we'd like we start the show off with the two person flips. This is very similar, except we have the chance, any one of us up on stage, to yell freeze, and then we'll take the place of the person that we tag out. So we're going to start the first two with Herman and Jen. Can we get a situation, guys? What could, what could Jen and I be doing? We're breaking right. up. Breaking up. Okay, that's a good one. It's hard <laughs> I never, ever want to see you again. Not what you did to my dog. Your dog? Yes! My dog! Chihuahua! I guess you don't want to talk about what you did to my journal then, do you? <laughs> <laughs> and that's an excuse for taking my beloved fluffy and feeding it to your mangy mutt! Speaking of mangy mutt, you look terrible. <laughs> how can you even, after what you said last night, how can you even think of saying something Last night? Like Why are you bringing last night into this? Because it was last night! I wasn't even paying attention last night. How can you hold me responsible? Maybe that's part of your problem then, isn't it? Well, if you were taller. <laughs> okay, class. First, we're going to start in first position. Good position. Right? In the Good. arms. Well, arm down. Okay, now we're going to go to second. Second position. And, okay, close. Your feet are a little further apart and point it out. Put in position. Okay. Now, third is to close. Your heel goes in to the instep. Okay. Put in position. <laughs> okay, I know we talked about this before. <laughs> oh my Yes, but that's not where it, um, good. A girl. Yes. I'm glad we got you fixed, but you need to just, you know, get over it. It's okay, I, I'm a pretty progressive person, but this is the most bizarre way I've ever been introduced at a restaurant. and he said, Do not touch me again, I want to sir! No. <laughs> 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 there we I am so sorry. We just got done fixing the carpeting yesterday. I was pretty... Oh, my feet are stuck! I have to be somewhere in 10 minutes. Well, I tell you what, do you know what we can do for you? We have a special gravity machine here. We can get there. What you need to do, you need to think positive now. It's really hard to think positive when my feet are stuck to a floor. Well, haven't you ever seen Wizard of Oz? I can't click my heels. I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. Well, I'm not going anywhere. Okay, okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Missouri. 
that's right next to what? Britney Spears 
a good example. <laughs> oh, what happens if I suffocate? What happens if I die completely? What happens if I have a heart attack? An aneurysm? I get run over by a car? <laughs> well, the amazing thing is you just bounce right out of it. radar detection device. <laughs> so I can see things coming at me. No, but they can see you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can float in water. I can float in jello. It'll be great for my mud wrestling career. <laughs> we have lots of girls that go into mud wrestling, stripping, <laughs> the priesthood, <laughs> politics, <laughs> theater, every time you, you know, give me one of those perks for it. So let me see. What happens now? How, how long am I going to be in the hospital? Uh, 24 hours. 32 hours. 14 days. So the doctors have had their way with you. adjust the way you feel about, change the way that you look at forceps. We have classes that can encourage you to look at forceps as uh, tea bags. <laughs> Wheel ribs. Wheel ribs. Yes. That doesn't sound pleasant. <laughs> that doesn't sound enjoyable. That doesn't sound like it would be much fun to have a wheel rim, you know where? <laughs> Down there, on my credits. <laughs> Again, an attitude issue. You need to change the way you feel about having something really chilly between your legs. <laughs> on your head. <laughs> on your cheeks. <laughs> between your knees. <laughs> Under your arms. <laughs> <laughs> Under your chin. <laughs> okay, well, you know, a water wheeling under my chin. That would be weird. <laughs> extra. We charge a little bit more. In fact, we're going to give it to you free with all these box tops we have in our trunk. <laughs> That's great. I collect box tops. Because I, I collect boxes. We do box tops on now. It's no thing. They don't want to get the box top. I think it might be a little late for you in the wheel rim. 
So uh, if you want to go ahead and stay in the lobby, we'll go ahead and take care of the next person while you go see the psychologist down the hall, the tourniquet man down the street, the fire engine house, the exciting reggae singers at the corner. <laughs> hey, we <you> gentlemen! <laughs> And now we have Herman and Andrea. <laughs> hey guys, we need a situation. Where could we be? No, let's have a situation. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, let's see. Watching a movie. Stop that rhyming now. I mean, did anybody want a peanut? <laughs> Run the peanut factory. Mm. I get so tired of shelling these peanuts all day long. I love peanuts. I'm allergic to this damn job. Can you see my hay ride? <laughs> I always miss it every hour. You know, that was back in fall. Why do you still talk about hay rides if it's so... Why do you still talk about my hair? I think that's nice. You look like shit. Who's <laughs> <laughs> very hair blonde? How about rhinestones? Let's braid it! I've got some glue. <laughs> well, I only use glue when it starts to slip. <laughs> I only use glue for my horses. I only use glue when I make ransom notes to people's children whom I've stolen. <laughs> you know what? My cousin did that. My uncle did that. My brother did that. My next door neighbor did that. Reverend Thomas did that. Yeah, let's see. Who did that? It was terrible. I tell you what, I cried for weeks. I was just destroyed. Ripped to bits. Torn. Shattered. Depressed. I loved it. The look on their faces. It was just so... You know, that reminds me of a movie I saw. What was that movie? Well, it was called The um, Maniacal Egyptians Take Over Hollywood. <laughs> it was called The B-Rated Teen Stars from Philadelphia. It was called The... I got some more on my own! Movies that they have made in China. Rainscore film. Really? Yes. You know what? My favorite movie of all time would have had them in Elvira, Mrs. of the Dark. Pleasant film. Sympatico. Danny Del Des Moines. <laughs> Using my tomatoes? It's that farming flick where that farmer climbs the summit of Mount Everest. They have to put it on his farm. Yeah, it was a small farm. Acres. Huge. About the size of Rhode Island. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello. 
Green Tomatoes. That movie, Pleasantville. Do you remember that movie, um... Mmm, well, it was a really good one. It was called Platoon. <laughs> you don't... You don't know, but you're gonna go... Ah! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Sometimes I just get a little excited. I'm sure it happens to everybody. Maybe just me more. It, it happens to everybody. But it really doesn't really happen to anybody ever. I, I really don't have any idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to the moon. Las Vegas. Sheboygan, Idaho. <laughs> I'm a cousin from Sheboygan. Really? Yeah. How, mother's father or father's mother? Mother's brother or sister's cousin. <laughs> Blue foot, red foot, yellow. <laughs> well, guys, that is all we have for the evening. Yeah.